is going to be the day. Today's going to be the day where we fill this cave behind you with all sorts. Ah, who am I even kidding anymore? Let's face it, something's going to interrupt it. I need lava, 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 I'm all out. And I know there's one person who has lots of it. I just don't know, does Cub have a shop where he sells lava? I think he's got something, like I remember seeing like a huge dripstone lava collector thing somewhere. Oh, oh, nice little touch there with the flames on the walls there. Okay, so this is it, but this isn't a shop. I don't think is he selling <laughs> is he selling lava here i don't see any signs or nothing just a lot of buckets is, is this free Cubs is free hmm i know mumbo also has that crazy zigzag lava farm he made recently but i don't know if he's selling it also can we just take a moment to recognize that like the entire pathway of cubs entire biome area here uh, raw iron blocks really cub really is that that's like the most amazing flex ever you know how much iron it takes how much raw iron blocks it takes to make this this guy's nuts it looks like we'll be filling our buckets the old-fashioned way oh look at joe looking to help out what a guy i appreciate it i'm getting tons of the nether now no worries the old-fashioned way Hey, the lava fairy showed up anyway. Molten lava for Tango Tech. Enjoy, Joe Hills. Thanks, Joe. I've been forgetting to add the campfires and they're like they're they're what make all then they just make the whole thing come alive so we got to do that near all the lava areas here so maybe right here ish and then just put that guy back right and like this yeah it did poofs we have poofing one there and there and there under the magma yes yes and we'll do a couple by the waterfall we'll do one right there and let's close this one off over there waterfall waterfall yeah no 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 not not water not water at all hot burn so here's the deal i am running through a lot a i'm just tearing through all my basalt i have very little basalt left hi creeper how's it going now i know b-dubs has a basalt shop right here one to, i mean i could cut into his supplies or, or I know he's got a basalt generator right here, which isn't bad, but I think I want to, I kind of want to make my own industrial basalt generator so that I could have improved rates and, and let's face it, it'll be a fun project. We got a little hole here in the back of our storage room now, a little tunnel that goes down into this little room underground now behind Fifi. And what I want to try and do is make a 2x speed uh, basalt generator. So we got our soul soil there with some uh, crying obsidian underneath it. You'll see why in a second. We want to put some ice here. And basically this is going to be mirrored. We're going to have, you know, that side over there and this side over here are going to be mirrored each other. The idea is we're going to generate basalt right here lift it up a block and then push it over and that side's gonna lift and push it over and right here in the middle is where all the basalt's gonna be getting mashed in together where it's kind of like a left right left right on like a timing system so i'll be like dig out the first row second row comes in dig out that first row comes in again with the next wave so it's gonna be alternating uh you know left right all rows of basalt being pushed in so we got to place our platform down here for the lava to go now i'm not sure can i get away no i can't i need two pieces of lava if i put a piece of lava here it won't go all the way over there so we'll just do one there and one there 
and those together should reach all six perfectly and i already need to take the lava out because we got to get pistons in go away pistons in right here i think sticky pistons up top and then regular pistons down below so the idea is once we get some redstone this guy is going to extend down lift up the whole row of six and then immediately after this guy is going to push it out all the way down there okay so around back here we're gonna take advantage of the piston push limit here that's the reason these two systems are, t are so far apart they're like 12 13 blocks apart so basically as the basalt is getting pushed across we're gonna have a row of six wide being pushed across in both directions but once it fills up in the middle it'll be too many blocks because what we don't want is we don't want to have this guy push basalt over and then like mash up this guy's business over here and bust out all his redstone bits and everything we can't have that so once it's filled up and it's full basalt on either side neither piston will be able to push because they'll be at the push limit and in terms of the redstone over here i think what we, we want this guy to be extended by default down there so let's do let's put a torch here to invert do that and then slap some more dust up there. Okay, so now we have two lines. We have this line here, which is going to be for the horizontal one, and that line up there, which is for the vertical one. That one is extended, so now what we need to do is lift that guy, and then one tick later, push those guys out, and then let, let it all reset. And that's our cycle. It's lift, push, lift, push, right? So we've got a clock here, and if I start this up... Oh! Oh! Okay, that's pretty much exactly, <laughs> that worked great. Okay, that's what we want. And this should push all the way over to here, right to the limit, I think. Should be a few more. Excellent, okay, yeah, perfect. So it can't push anymore. I probably could have moved that whole device a little bit closer here. But now when I stand in the middle here, and of course we'll, we'll make sure we have haste and stuff. It's just gonna keep filling in. And what we wanna do now is the exact same thing over on this side, but slightly out of phase. So that's like, this side is like, push across and then this side is like push across and then push across and push across and there's going to be a limit to how fast we can do this because it's basically how fast it takes the basalt to to get made each each loop okay the other side is theoretically ready to go i got another observer here that's going to run that line off the clock and i think i just want to put a little bit of delay here to like i said to kind of make them go out of phase let's see now hold on let me, let me break some room here one. Oh, this one's not this one ain't pushing. Why you no push? Why what? What? What a oh, hi. <laughs> Redstone helps sometimes, yeah. Bloop. Okay, there we go. Now we can do all this. What's the one, two? One, two. Okay. I want it to be even. Right now it's two. It's like one, two, and then a long gap. So I want to add more delay, I think. Right? One, two. One, two. Yeah, this needs a little bit more delay, I think. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's more evenly evenly spaced out now, I think. One, two, one, two. Okay, good. Mm, okay, I think we're, we're pretty much done. The only thing I want to tweak now is this clock here because that determines, like, you know, the phase of the whole thing, the, the period, if you will, of how fast this thing goes. And that is determined by how fast... You really can't see it in there, but how fast the basalt is generated. You can hear that every time you hear pss, it's like generating. So I could probably, let's try and let's try and let's just knock that back and see now if we get, I'm not even sure the right way to do this. Well, let's just go to the extreme and see what happens, right? If we, if we made this clock super fast, right? Okay. It already to kind of bound up. interesting maybe it's okay and it just pushes when it can but i feel like with those hmm i'm not sure yeah you can see with it on super fast that oh right like there it's fine okay so like right there we only got one we only got one only one it's kind of like only doing some of them at a time i think so the question is do we just want to keep spamming and pushing as fast as we can or do we want to only push when there's a whole row ready? All right, I think I got it dialed in pretty good here. I finished off the room here and we're using tripwire hooks to activate the clock in the back, the redstone signal down there. I was I originally had a pressure plate here, but it locked that hopper and made everything extra bad stuff. So we're using tripwire hooks and now I just stand here and I blop, 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 
blah. I decided to, you know, slow the pace down, but make sure that there's a full row being pushed at the time. And I actually think this is going to give better rates, but this is just crazy. Like, I can get, like, six stacks of basalt in mere seconds now, I think. Slowly but surely, we are we are getting this done here. I think we almost have... Or not really. We have, we have about a third of this side of the cave done. Oh, hi, Creeper. But we're doing good. We're, I, I got it all the way up to the edge there. And everything. Let me show you from a different angle here. I actually really like the the lava pool we put in there as a little bit of a landmark because that's that's one problem with what I'm doing here is there's no character to it. I think I need to start working in bigger patches and less micro noise, if you know what I'm saying. Like I need more of the black veins and I need to have like, you know, a section maybe that is a different type of block over here, that kind of thing. But I got to say, I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made in here so far today. Obviously, I'm not going to finish it, but you know, baby steps. Now I kind of stopped like right there because I think I might actually just, you know, bring the cave wall in like bring the ceiling down to kind of meet this here. I got to really think about that. I'm not sure how far up here I want to go and, you know, how much. I don't want it to go all the way back there because that just doesn't look natural. I think the cave needs to round out a little bit here. So that's why we stopped here. With all this cave building, I am now running low on cobbled deep slate, which is a problem if I want to continue building the cave. So we're going to head over to the new shop or mega shop in town, the Octagon. Look at this place. Both amazing, impressive, and beautiful. I love it. I just love it. Look at the portal there. It's so good. Um, I stopped by here in a live stream and checked out all the shops, and they've got like... What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shops. Something like that. Like a uh, hundred shops. I have no idea. What's this one? Oh no! Someone bought the. Did someone buy all the all the stuff I want? Oh, I'm gonna be so upset. I think they did. Rockets. Don't need those. Oxidized copper. That's a lot of oxidized copper there. This is them just selling shulkers over here. These rooms are beautiful. Well done, guys. Well done. Selling glass over there. These these shops are just so beautiful. This is such a great idea. Obsidian. Not bad. Not bad. I could use some of that. Oh, I'm so bummed. All the deep slate is sold out. I was gonna come and clean it out myself. All right. Uh, maybe <sighs> we might have to go to Bodum. Uh, does the G train even sell it? I don't even know. Redstone. There used to be a big old pile here, and I think it was Mumbo. I don't think that. I don't think they sell. Oh, here it is. Is this it? Deep slate, one stack for two diamonds. The G changer, okay. I don't want deep slate, I want cobbled. I need, okay, well, well, that's that, I guess. Two stacks, put in the diamond. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Who else sells this stuff? What about eye candy? Does he sell it? I don't think so. He sells a lot of stuff here. Oh. I love the music. This is great. Well, I don't know who else sells Deep Slate. By the way, Scar has been so busy. This area just looks amazing. He's totally scarifying it. All right, since we're low on Deep Slate, I want to head over to a little secondary project, which is to head over to the Iron Farm. So here's the deal. I really haven't been running my Iron Farm all that much. I think like only three or four times. In fact, do I even have any... <laughs> 14 pieces of iron. So yeah, we're not exactly swimming in iron and there's a reason for that. And the, the farm has got a little bit of a flaw to it that I haven't figured out yet. And that is, if I could swoop on down in here, these guys, these villagers, they're they're taking damage and ra very randomly and very rarely, I think they take a little bit of damage and they're dying. They're dying. In fact, when it, when it becomes nighttime, they're going to sleep here. And I think... One of these guys, I think there's only two right there. They stack on top of each other like crazy. I think there's only two right there. So we lost one there. So we got to replace another villager here, which I've already done a couple of times. So I think I want to try and actually fix that today. And I think what's happening, well, let me turn it on. I'll show you. So if you remember how this works, the villagers get lifted up the bubble column. They go up there. They spawn a golem on the platform. And then the water disappears and they drop. But you see how there's that extra little water there to catch them. And that water hangs around a little bit. What I'm thinking, though, is maybe... Let's see over here now. Yeah, see, I think I might need to keep that water around for another tick or maybe two. Because I think what's happening is, based on server lag or something, the, the water's removing. And if the villager 
doesn't fall right away or something when he does fall the water might not be there and they might be taking splatification damage well this is unfortunate i was hoping i had more options here but these two repeaters here this is the delay for how long the water sticks around so i think what i can do is eh, i can add one more tick right there which will keep the water around for one more tick i think uh, and hopefully that makes the difference. I'd like to add two, but I'm going to add one to everything. And I'm going to run the farm for a little while and, and see. That wasn't so bad. All the timings have been modified. Now what I want to do is give a little bit of splashy splashy on these guys. In case they are hurt, I want to tip top them off. And, and take it in the face. Bloop, bloop, splash. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you too. Oh, they're sleeping. See, now I can count them. Yeah, okay, we're missing one over here on the south side. Okay, middle south side. I need to add a villager. Everyone else is good. Oh, I can splash them while they're sleeping. Boop. The shades are still working. They're doing their job. Hey, one of you piles of villager there. Go. Be free. Become a golem maker thing up and around and in and in we go right there we're gonna do let's see we'll do that we'll do that we're gonna close you in so you can't get out we're gonna come in here we're gonna break hi and oh he's gonna take damage go splat okay ow ow <laughs> okay we will uh we'll hit him with some of the happy sauce and top him off okay everybody's topped off we turn the farm on and we see we see if it, everything's fine. Well, golems are spawning. That's a good sign. I mean, the farm pretty much works the same way. I didn't really change much. Hopefully now, I will AFK tonight and hopefully uh, the villagers won't take any damage because it's pretty annoying waking up every morning and there's like two, three villagers just missing. I absolutely love this farm. This is still the best thing. Between this and the copper farm, I'm super proud of them. This thing was a lot of fun to make. And there's already, I already have ideas going around about how to improve this thing. So next season we'll make something like this but even better so unfortunately guys i do need to cut this episode a little bit short i got some plans i'm leaving town for like four days hopping on a plane in a little bit so i am out of time i actually got to get packing and get some sleep so i apologize for the short episode hope you enjoyed it and i am excited about the progress we're making over here on the side it's got me it's got me thinking yes in fact i can finish this cave with a little bit of work okay so it's a lot of work but i'm more likely to finish it now than i was yesterday i appreciate every one of you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time